Continuing our coverage now on tonight, on yesterday's uh, deadly avalanche at Palisades Tahoe. One person was killed, 66-year-old Kenneth Kidd, a resident of Point Reyes in Marin County, and he also lived part-time in Truckee. Our coroner for Teresa Stasio spoke with a skier who was on the mountain when the avalanche hit. We were walking up to KT. We saw the lift was shut down. There was an obvious sense of uh, not panic, but a lot of activity going on around the base of the lift mainly focused on ski patrols. They were working furiously to do something. Castor Valley resident Mark Sponsler says that he immediately realized something was wrong when his group arrived at KT-22 early Wednesday morning to tackle the advance run at Palisades open for the first time this season. An objective was to stay out of the way. I mean, but what I did observe was ski patrol was very organized. They had wave after wave, and this is like literally three minutes after the avalanche happened. He shared these pictures he snapped quickly of the unfolding emergency operation. He says fellow skiers filled others in on just how big the avalanche was. And he said, I saw a couple of people ski into the bowl and a crack developed from one end of the bowl to the other, which was almost 100 yards long, and the whole bowl just slid out. Sponsor says on Thursday, the tight-knit community is still reeling from what happened. Today, they were extremely cautious on opening lifts. All the lifts were delayed by about two hours, um, which was understandable. There was a lot of people waiting in line. Nobody was grumbling. Every under, everyone understood the magnitude of what had happened yesterday. He says the death of a skier is difficult to deal with, adding it has impacted everyone who loves the sport, yet realizes its dangers. The loss of a, a patron here is a loss for all of them, and they, you know, are, and they're upset about it. They don't want this to happen any more than anybody else does. Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News.